The vertical axis is what connects the horse and the rider and the ground. And understanding the dynamics of the vertical axis is crucial in advanced equestrian performance. Balance, speed and radius of turns, pirouettes, increasing the length of stride, propulsion, collection, oneness and a centered relationship are all dependent upon this vertical axis. The rider is the one who creates the vertical axis between rider and horse. So it's actually important that the rider learn the dynamics of movement first. This way the horse has confidence that the rider is not going to make the horse off balance or cause it to stumble. The fastest way to advance riding is therefore training the rider in movement dynamics first before trying advanced riding techniques. Here you can see the trainer working with a two-week broken horse and you can see the confidence that the horse has in in this case softening up learning to connect learning to follow commands because the trainer is balanced the horse has confidence that it can move freely and in a balanced and safe manner also the vertical axis increases performance by changing the pivot point of movement up into underneath the rider so you get a longer stride, more propulsion, and also more energy in the movements. Here we see, again, the trainer is maintaining that vertical axis. Of note is that the human dynamics of movement are the same as a horse's dynamics, even though one has four legs, the other has two. So this is why Training into human dynamics is a source of information into how the horse is moving as well. Also of note is that the oneness or the centered connection between the horse and rider actually create mirror images of movement and mirror images even standing still. So this is a connection that is created also. A complete detailed performance package on rider training is available at oxygencore.info.